train together. They're metal militia buddies. Brian has been working hard to bring riders up behind him. Guys like Twitch and Feist. Now younger riders like Ox. Right now, he needs a big score to take down Brian Deegan, who has a 93. He needs a 91 plus to get in to second place. Oh! oh there we go. So not the seat grab back foot with that we thought might happen. But he knew that Brian got a good score from the no-footer to the one-hander. And certainly Jeff Cardola showed a much better one-hander. He did, and now is crunch time. We gotta wait for what the judges say. Will Miller go from second to third place? And will Ox go into the number one position? This is where Brian Deegan didn't want to be, but he is a cool customer, and he knows what he has to do. Great extension on the no-footer by Ox, and then watch the one hand come off, fully extended, Tess. And he commits to that. We said yesterday, commitment is the key. A great no-footer, and the one-hander held all of the way around onto that pretty chewed up landing right now. It is definitely getting beaten up. We have had some warm temperatures here in Aspen over the last few days, but right now it is good and icy on top for this battle. Ox, we are waiting for your scores. I know he is too. 9301 would put him in the lead. Not enough for first place at 92-2.